What's going on guys? Welcome back to another training video. This is day two of the circuit guys of the two weeks course. So if you haven't seen yesterday's video, make sure you go and check that out because what we're doing is breaking down some short circuits that we're going to bolt together over the next two weeks. And after the two weeks course is done, we're going to be doing an entire home cardio circuit, core based, chest based. We're going to be doing all of these things that is going to be helping our mind and our body and getting you guys off the sofa, off that PS4 and getting up and grinding and pushing for the things that you want to achieve. This is not just fitness as I explained yesterday. This is more than fitness. This is incorporating fitness into your everyday life. This is living healthy. This is being healthy. And this is being happy and motivated guys and also being yourself. So if you didn't watch yesterday's video, what we've done was break down some short circuits. We broke down how to do a sit-up, how to do a basic plank. There was many positions of how to do sit-ups, many positions of how to do a plank, but I broke down the basics. I hope you guys done well with the basics that I broke down. And if you didn't, it's no problem, guys. It's not a competition. There is no medal at the end of this video. This video is literally just about trying our hardest, no matter what. Even if you only do one set, that's no problem, guys, because every single day we're going to develop and get better and better together. This is our starting again, as I explained in yesterday's video. This is a new year. So in today's video, we're breaking down types of press-ups. When people think of press-ups, guys, they think, oh, press up is just it's only one type today's video we're going to be breaking down types of press ups that i know guys and that i've learned in my muay thai from the three and a half years i've been doing it for i've been developing i've been trying to build up of what i know the information i know and to share it with you guys press ups that is going to be helping our core that is going to be helping our chest and engaging all of these things in and also our triceps guys so this workout we're about to do is going to be giving us three main engagements in our body guys our core our chest and our tricep the circuits we're about to do are also going to stabilize our core they're going to stabilize of how we're doing the press ups guys and that's one of the most amazing things about it it's going to stabilize the core and help us balance more that's why i'm engaging in these exercises in today's video. So the type of press ups that I'm about to show you, I'm not saying that these are the only types and, and ways of doing it out there, but these are the ways that I've learned by doing my mixed martial arts, by doing my training over the years, as I explained. There's a beginner's way, there's a standard way, there's a more advanced way. Don't worry if you can't go straight into doing the best one, because that's not what it's about. It's about just slowly developing ourselves and developing ourselves as a person as, and, and as a, an athlete now when we're training guys. We're going to get into these short exercises right now and just show you guys the basics of how to do them and how to get better every single day doing them. As I said, it doesn't matter if you can't do more than one. Doing one and then two tomorrow, that's still an achievement guys, that's still getting better every single day we do this video. So right now I'm going to begin to warm up my wrist and my arms guys. This is really important obviously to warm up your wrist here because we're going to be using our wrist throughout the, all of the exercises that we're about to be doing guys. So right here, I'm just warming up my wrist now, I'm going forward and back with my knees. Using my body guys to just move around, getting the wrists really nice and warm. So I'm just going very easy now guys, turn my wrist back to front, just getting the nice warmed up. Now this next exercise guys, doing back and forward like this with your fingers, this is a good exercise for your triceps. After about a minute of doing this, it does actually start to really hurt. Now I'm going to go into one of the exercises guys, make sure my feet are all the way to the edge of the mat. This is a beginner's way of doing it, so for those of you who struggle doing it, normally this is a beginner's way guys, you can put your knees down. But for those of you who, who can already do that, then go to the next stage where you can cross your legs over like this and go all the way down and your nose obviously touches the floor all the way down. It's gonna be hard to start off with for those who've never done a press up before, but these are the beginner stages. So for those of you doing it, you can go into the actual prop up presses ups guys, where you go right down your legs to the edge of the mat and you go right down and back up and twist your arms on the end of it. As you can see here, my arms twist on the end guys, this engages your triceps much more. This is the wrong way of doing it though. Some people do pre press ups like this where they go down like that with the bum sticking up guys. This is wrong, it's gonna injure your back as well for those of you people do it. And some other people do it like this, right to the floor like that, which is wrong guys. As you can see here, your pelvis is right to the floor and your elbows are bending. This is another wrong way here where some people go really fast and think quantity is better than quality, but no, quality is better then quantity. One of the yoga planks I know is that you go all the way down to the floor and hold yourself like this. You go all the way down and hold yourself. 
This is one of the positions that I know from doing yoga. So now this is the correct way to do it, guys. The press up is gonna go down and up and twist your arms in a bit, down and up and twist your arms in a bit. So for those of you who wanna proceed to the next stage and get even harder, then do it with one leg sticking up five times. So one leg sticking up, guys, and down. And again, hold your leg up really high and down again and back up. This is much harder because you're obviously balancing on one side of your body, guys, and using your core to stabilize yourself much more. So now I'll switch to the other side and just re-stabilizing myself again and doing it again. The next one I'm about to show you guys is called the heart press up where you cross your hands over like this. Go down guys. This is focusing all on the area of your core because you've got to stabilize yourself much more because you've got less space obviously without you're not using your arms as much guys because it's in a smaller area. So right here using it to engage our core much more and our triceps and our chest guys. So the next press up that I'm about to show you is called the hands to the chest. We do this in Muay Thai a lot guys, where you go up, put your hand on the chest and then the other side and that's one. Then you've got to do that again and that's only two. And at the end of every exercise, I always take a moment just to breathe, just to slow my heart rate down again guys. So that's another workout come to the end guys. Just doing these, breaking these down as I said and we're going to bolt them all together after these two weeks guys. So that's day two of the training. After these two weeks are done, we're gonna bolt every exercise that we do between now and them two weeks and do a massive entire cardio circuit at home, which is gonna be obviously doing the core, triceps, chest, most importantly guys, the mind. That's the beauty why I love doing training. It's the beauty why I love doing mixed martial arts is because once you do the training, you forget about everything else. You forget what's going on in your life. You forget what problems you've got, what's going on in that specific moment. It's all gone. All you're focusing on is your mind and how hard you can push to do the workout. All you're focusing on is the pain, is how far can you go? And that's why I love doing it the most because the people, the strongest people out there are the people who push and work for the moments. When you're in pain, all you've got to do is just breathe it out. And this is not just involving training. Whenever you're in pain in life, whenever you're in situations where you feel that you're uncomfortable, you feel in situations where you feel like you're panicking, all you have to do is breathe in the moment. Let it out, guys, and you feel more relaxed and you feel more, more, less stressful in that moment. You'll feel less stressed. Training is not about that. And people think training is about getting a nice body, going away for the summer, and showing off to girls, or if you're a girl, showing off to boys, but it's not about that. Training is nothing about that. Training is about the mind, the soul, the heart, and it's about the lifestyle, how you incorporate training into your everyday life. Doing mixed martial arts for me over the last three years, I've incorporated this in my everyday life, and I found that I've been a more successful person, a more of a calmful person, as I spoke about yesterday, and I just feel more in that moment. I'm not thinking about anything else. Once I do a specific subject, I'm only thinking about that. I'm only thinking about the things that I want to achieve and then I'm only embracing on board the things I want to embrace. And that's why you guys, I really hope that you guys enjoy this training video so you can tag along with me with these moments and, and we can achieve great things together. Your arms should be killing, your chest should be hurting and your triceps should be hurting. And also, most importantly guys, make sure you have a bottle of water on you. Every exercise that we do in the videos guys, because you need to stay hydrated no matter what. And I know you're probably thinking, well I know this, but make sure you always have water on you guys because some people just train without water. Like when I go to Muay Thai, I see some people training without water and I'm just thinking if I could, if, if I trained that, I'd probably pass out guys because you always need to stay hydrated with water when you're training. If you don't like water then I'll say, have some lemon water if that makes sense have some water put lemon in fluids or, or other liquids such as like I, I don't know just juice like black currant uh, orange juice it's not really a good thing to train with because it's probably going to make you sick guys if it gets like stirred up in your stomach so just have water or, or lemon water what that is is water guys with lemons and that's what I'm drinking right now it's just water with lemons and it tastes really nice so I hope you enjoyed this video there is no excuses of no training you can train anywhere I'm in my house guys I'm training you don't need a gym so there's no excuses this is your year guys i'm not just talking about me i'm talking about you behind the screen yes i'm talking to you this is your year too in training and in fitness and in life you're going to succeed this year all you have to do is believe in yourself your abilities and be confident in your approach and get up today stop wasting time if you're watching this video and you didn't do the workout then tag along guys start it again and tag along if you was watching this video and, and you didn't manage to get through the exercises i was doing it doesn't matter all it is is about is trying your best guys if you can only do 15 seconds it doesn't matter if you couldn't do 30 and you can only do 15 seconds, it's no problem. If you couldn't do 15, if you only could do 10, it's no problem. If you couldn't do 10, you only could do five, it's no issue, guys. All you have to do is just keep pushing.
pushing yourself and every day make sure you beat that and build up your strength and build up your mind strength guys and your physical and mental strength so that's another training video done and i'll see you back here very soon again for another training video if you did enjoy this video please smash the thumbs up for me it would be much appreciated and if you haven't subscribed to the bsl farming guys make sure you join the bsl farming today we are pushing movements we are pushing fitness we are pushing for the dreams that you want to achieve in today so i'll see you very soon with another training video bsl farming